Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Dave and Welcome back to another tier list video. Today, we're doing, um, I guess a continuation of a previous video I did. So, today, we're doing the Smash Ultimate newcomer slash DLC tier list based on the trailer they had when they were announcing the game. So, a little while ago, I did this for the Smash 4 DLC and newcomer video. Well, I guess the characters in, the, in that. So, now we're doing the continuation on Smash Ultimate now that every character has been announced. So these are all the new characters, all the newcomers, and DLC is not in any particular order. The only one that's not here is Mithra, because Pyro and Mithra were in the same, um, are pretty much the same characters slash the same trailer, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to do this in order of when they were announced. So we're starting off here with Inkling. I'm going to have the trailers on a different screen here, I'm obviously going to show them. So Inkling, one, I have to remember where I was when I um, watched this. I was actually in college, um, beginning, of, or I guess it was like... I, don't know, I can't remember when, when it was announced, it was like early in the year, but it was like my second year, so it was my last year of college, and uh, my friend asked me if I've seen um, the trailer of a game. I think, I don't know if he said Smash Bros at the time, but I was like, uh, no, because I, I didn't really watch like um, trailers for games back then, so that was quite a while ago. And he showed me this, I was like, oh, cool, Splatoon, yeah, don't don't care. And he's like, just just keep watching, and then, then I saw, you know, the symbol. I saw, I saw like the it go dark and then the emblem in inkling is like that's like the most like one of the most iconic like pictures ever is just the, the Smash logo in inkling's eyes, just crazy. And then all the characters like all shadowed out look it's looking sick. You, obviously, you see like Mario, um, Link. You see Breath of the Wild Link. You can tell then. Well, actually, it's, it's, you can tell because he's not wearing the hat, so it's different Link. You can tell that much, and you get to see like everyone else in the background. That trailer um, is definitely, definitely in the hype tiers, which is like the high, high tier. I haven't put them as like letters because that's boring. Why would, I, why would I put letters where I can put hype, solid, okay, not so hype, and trash? I think one is one of the best ones just because of the like. I'm doing this based on the, um, the trailer and not the character, so I don't like Inkling as a character very much, right? Like, they're fun to play as, but I don't like playing against them or anything. I don't think they're super crazy unique. But their trailer was probably the best, one of the best trailers that I've seen. Next one. Ridley. Now, Ridley's one was also really sick. Like, how it's just, like, Mega Man dies, Mario dies, like, thank you, Ridley, you killed Mario. And then Samus, like, the way Samus looks in that trailer is, like, in high definition, it looks sick. And then, that's that's also gonna get, that's not as good as England, I don't think, because of, like, that happening, but I think it's definitely a hype one to watch. Next one was Simon and Richter. Now this one was pretty good, but it didn't like follow completely to the source material of um, Castlevania because Castlevania is a 2D, 2D game. And I feel like if this was like a 2D version, like I don't know, maybe they have like 2D um, like original sprite of Luigi running around a castle. But, I mean, it's still a pretty good trailer. I'm not, I'm not saying it's like bad. I'm saying obviously they're both announced in the same trailer, so I'm gonna put them there. All Echo Fighters of other characters are gonna be in the same tier as the other character. But yeah, it's a pretty good one. I feel like it would have been a lot funnier though if it was like 2D Luigi running around in the Castlevania. Now K Rule, K Rule's one was pretty sick as well. Um, yeah, I like how I have all the villains. And then the funniest part of this one for me personally was when DDD appeared and it was like, hey, it's me, DDD. No, I know this was the banjo one, but it was really funny because it's DDD and he's just a funny guy. I like, just look out the window and then. You see the shadow of King K. Rool. And then he just pulls up the cloak and it's just DDD. He's just there, chilling, being DDD. You know, you'd, you'd love to see it. But there's so many good profile pictures in that. Like when he's putting it himself. Like all the parts where he's laughing. That's really good. I don't think it, it's as good as like the Ridley or Inkling one. But it's still a very good one. So I'm putting him at the top of Solid above Simon and Richter. Okay, moving on. Next is Isabel. <laughs> so Isabel is probably one of the best trailers, again, same with like Ridley's one, because unlike Simon and Richter, it's very, like, it just looks like it's the game. Like, when people watch this trailer, because obviously I watched a few reactions of people reacting to this, they thought, they didn't think Isabel was going to smash until um, she announced, she said, like, about um, the mayor being in Smash and the campsite, being busy with Smash and the campsite. People thought before then it was 
Um, well, something still thought after that, but they thought it was a new Animal Crossing game coming out, which they did an technically announce in this game as well. But then the freeze frame of them all saying they want me in Smash was honestly really good. So that, I think that's slightly better than Resident one, to be honest with you, just because of how like good it is to the source material of the game. The next we have Piranha Plant. Now, Piranha Plant being a funny character, like, not no one thinking Piranha Plant was a thing until he started attacking. But, um, to compare to the other trailers, the cinematics, he doesn't get a cinematic trailer. So I think, as much as he's a funny guy, I think we'll have to put him in trash. Like, I'm not saying he's trash, I'm just saying the trailer wasn't, wasn't, you know, compared to these guys, it wasn't really a trailer. So next we've got the Ken and Incineroar one. So these two, these two go, go together because they're in the same trailer, but this trailer was really... I feel like Ken's one was a lot better than Cinderella's, even though it's the same trailer. Like, announcing Ken, like an Echo Fighter, as a character was something they haven't done before. Because all the other ones had, like, the main character, like Simon, and then Victor in the same trailer. But this one had Ken and Incineroar, who were really different. I think Ken's was definitely... I want to say it was better than Ridley's. Like, I think it was really cool how he was just beating up Lil Mac. Well, obviously it showed a bit of his in-game battle as well, which is pretty good, you know, as it did with some of the trainers. But, like, when he's fighting Lil Mac in the arena, that was proper sick. I was just, you know, beating him up, and then it goes to, like, the stage. Yeah, it's really sick. But then, in my opinion, um, Incineroar, he was also in the trainer, but I don't think his, like, announcement was as good as the others. But, yeah, he beat up Ken a little bit, but, like, Ken had, like, emotion in this, you know. He was just doing stuff, you know. Next was Joker. So I don't actually remember Joker's trailer. All I remember is, like, the original part where it's just, like, him grabbing the thing, which is pretty good. It looks very similar to the game, but, like, my problem with it is it's a bit too short, in my opinion, okay? Also, like, how have, have they have the, like, the Final Smash. Did they get the... I'm trying to remember if they get, like, the... A cool ending thing with it. Yeah, I mean, it fades out to it, but, like, it's a good one for what it has. I'm going to put it not so hype. It's a good trailer. If they, like, stayed with more cinematic, it would have been sick. Like, it's got the bit of him using Arsene is also cinematic in this. And they've got the beginning part where he gets the letter. But, like, apart from that, it's just kind of, you know, Joker's in the game. He, this is what he does. Now, this one... The next one is Heroes, and this was probably my favourite trailer. It gave me similar vibes to um, Palatina and Dark Pits trailer, where, like, it's an anime battle kind of thing. Like, it's Link versus Marth and Meta Knight, like, evil Marth and Meta Knight. So that one's definitely just going to be S tier, or hype, I guess, because it was really cool. You know, he's just fighting him, and then Hero comes along and is like, yo, I'm Hero. And he just did that. Uh, next, Banjo and Kazooie. They were the next one. Um... It's, very, it's pretty much the same one as King Hay's Rule, apart from King Hay's Rule wasn't in the trailer. So I guess we have to put that with... Um, I'll just put it a little bit behind, because, you know, pretty much they copy and pasted his, but, like, it makes sense, considering Banjo is from... I think it's, like, Diddy's Bongo Congo Racing, or whatever, the, the barrel racing game that he plays. I think that's what he's from. Now, next was Terry. Terry... I didn't know... I knew about Fatal Fury, or Fatal Fury, but I never played it before I knew Terry. So I don't know how, like... I don't know how the intro looks in them kind of games, like the Neo Geo games, but... Based on how it looks in here, I think it was a really sick trailer. Like, the cinematics wasn't supposed to be like, wow, look how amazing it is. It's supposed to be... I feel like it's very Isabel-ish, like, very good to the source material. So I think that gets a hype tier. It was very, very sim It had all like, the characters trying to get it. And then Terry picked up, and he just stood there. And then it just showed what he, it was like, a render of what he looked like. And that was all we got for, like, ages, was just that. And then we actually got, like, him doing stuff. But, like, yeah, I think that was really sick how it was just very, very close to the source material they used of the Neo Geo consoles. Now, next was Byleth. Now, I hate Byleth, because I'm not a Fire Emblem fan, but, like, yeah, I didn't really understand what was happening. Apart from Byleth's trailer was, it didn't look very good. I think it's because it's supposed to be close to the source material, but it was very long. I think it was a bit too long, to be honest with you. And it was it was it was alright. Like the animation part, the animation parts of it was good, but like the rest of it wasn't. Like this part here, where it shows Sophus as like the inventor version of her, 
wasn't very good. But when when it's her like an anime when she's like holding the holding the um the ladder, that was pretty good. So I think that's gonna go um, where where is but there's Byleth. I think it's gonna go okay, like below below Incineroar, because yeah, it's all right, but it doesn't look very good. That next one was Min Min's. Now, Min Min's trailer had nothing really to do with source material apart from everyone punching each other with arms. That's what they do. But this one is going to go high up just because of Kirby and Captain Falcon eating their arm. And that's honestly so sick. I just think that's really funny how, how Captain Falcon just going ham on the ramen while there's a fight going on. He's just there chowing down on some ramen, you know? And then you got everyone trying to fight for the, for the thing. And then there's just. Captain Falcon just going ham on the ramen. So I think, look at him. The frame of him going ham on the ramen is honestly phenomenal. So that's going to go bottom of hype tier. Because it's not very close to the source material, but it's also really funny just him eating the ramen. The next one was, um, I mean, it was a, it was probably the craziest announcement done for a character, but the trailer wasn't amazing, in my opinion. This, obviously, this, all of this is my opinion, not everyone else's opinion. This is my personal opinion. You may disagree if you do. Let me know in a kind way down below. But I feel like there was like I could have done so much more with like all the Minecraft references, but they kind of had just Mario in a cave with some monsters around, some mobs around, and then just he just mines. I think what gives this the the height, like the best part, is of Steve. You, you'll see in a moment where Steve's standing there and he just eats the meat in front of Mario and then just walks away. I think because of that he gets um. I think we'll put him top of Solid Tier, like, they could have done a lot more, but like, I feel like him just, you know, eating the meat gives it gives it a, a big plus, like a big bonus. So next, was well, Sephiroth. Now, Sephiroth's one was actually, it's just going to go here, it just is. Like, the fight that Sephiroth had with, um, like, he just, he just kills Gleam and then just fights, he pretty much kills Mario and then has an epic fight with Cloud. Like, that's honestly sick. Like, he also killed Mario, which was also pretty hype, I guess. How had, um, transition with him using the fully charged neutral B to it appearing in a cutscene was honestly sick. Then how he just beats up Greninja and Bayonetta. I forgot that part. How he just whoops Bayonetta and Greninja and he just kills Mario. Sick. And I've got Pyromithras, <coughs> which looks very close to the source material from what I know, from what I've seen of same font and looks the same but it wasn't really interesting it's kind of like hey i'm pl i'm in smash and that's it that's it's not really that good so it's gonna it's gonna be above above by but like it's kind of like oh i could have had it where they were fighting a blade and then they got some i don't know i don't i don't, I don't know too much about the way apart from what i've seen ghoul play it's kind of just like i'm in smash it's like i can't find her oh there you are i'm in smash okay thanks the next one is Kazuya. Now Kazuya's, to be honest with you, it kind of sucked. It was way too short of a cinematic. He just kind of like picked up Ganondorf, threw him in the lava. You know, Ganondorf dies and it's like, hey, I'm Kazuya. And that that's pretty much it. He just throws people in the lava every now and again. So that's going to go in the... I think it's very similar to Joker's. It's going to be a low Joker's because Joker at least had the cool Arsene thing. So like, cinematic of him throwing someone in the lava and it's like, hey, I'm, I'm in the game. It's like, alright, thanks. So all I can fight is they're also going to go in below Piranha Plant because they didn't have their own trailer or it's kind of like Piranha Plant where it wasn't any cinematic, they're just kind of like they're a character. And last was Sora. As much as I don't like Sora as a character really, or not a big fan of the of the um, Kingdom Hearts universe, it was a good trailer. How it like came back to how um, like the first trailer it had like all the characters shadowed up as amiibos and then it kind of brought back back um, vibes of um, Inkling's one. I didn't know who it was going to be until like the key, the Keyblade appeared. Then I was like, "Oh damn, it's Sora!" And also the handshake they have towards the very end, um, wherever that is, where, I don't know where that is on on this, but like, yeah, the handshake they had was like pretty sick as well. I was just like, I mean, yeah, that, that that's a pretty good picture. That's a nice picture of them doing the handshake and the fire. Smash like in the background, everyone's there. Everyone is here. I mean that, um probably give that like top of solid. Actually, you know, you know what? We'll give it we'll put it next to Inkling, because it's very similar to the Inkling trailer. I feel like Yeah. 
obviously these characters aren't in order of how much I like them, otherwise there'd be very big changes, but yeah, this is the order of um, how good their reveal trailer was. If you want me to do like a tier list of how good or how much I like the characters they added in the newcomers in this, you can let me know down below. But yeah, this is where it's going to be, so Hype we've got the best trailers, starting with Hero fighting, um, or when Link was fighting Evil Met Knight and Evil Marth to Min Min with the Captain Falcon Ramen. Like, Min Min's trailer wasn't good, but Captain Falcon eating ramen secured it a high position. Then you got the solo one, which is um, Steve, Banjo, King K. Rool, Simon Richter, OK, Incineroar, Pyra, Byleth. Not so hype, because they had little, like, little, um, little animation, you know, not very much cinematic. So you, had, uh, you got Joker and Kazuya. And then Trash is people who didn't really have a cinematic. Well, they didn't have a cinematic at all, these characters. It's kind of like, hey, they're in the game. Really, the Echo Fighter, so that makes sense, but, like, Piranha, why they could have, like, had Mario jump, uh, like, jumping and then have, like, I don't want to come out of a pipe like he does in the game or something, but I don't know. So yeah, if you guys haven't joined this video, let me know in the link down below. Let me know if there's any changes you'd have. If you'd maybe put Byleth at the top, if you're a Byleth fan, or I mean, this is my opinion based on the trailers, not on the characters or anything, based on how much I enjoyed their trailer or how well, like how nice the trailer looked for their character. And it's mainly based on the cinematics because they always look nice. Yeah, if you if you have any other opinions, let me know down below. If you've got any more tier list videos ideas you want me to do, I will have a look at the comments and see if there's any ones I want to do. And if I can find a nice tier list, I'll do it. If not, I'll probably make one. Depending on how good the idea is. And yeah, thank you all for watching. If you are new to this channel or you find yourself coming back regularly to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please do it. It really helps me out a lot. And please also, if you are subscribed now or have been subscribed and you haven't ringed that bell, Please do, because you will know when I'm uploading more Zelda content, because that's what I've got coming out right now, just Zelda content, you know, on that Zelda grind. And I've got a couple of uh, projects coming up in the, in the pipeline, so yeah, make sure you hit the bell so you know when, I, when all that stuff's coming out. And thank you for watching again, keep rolling, peace out.